Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome. My name is Chris. I'm so glad to see you today. Um, if this is your first time here, again, I'll give you a big welcome. I hope you enjoy it here. And if you do, please do those YouTube things like like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It'd be very much appreciated. And to all my dear friends and true blues out there, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. Um, I have three finishes for you for you today as you can see by the title one is from craftably and two is from diamond art club um so uh before i go on to that just again welcome to everybody and any description uh any uh, links you might need as far as social medias and stuff will be down below uh linked below okay so let's get right into it i don't want to keep you forever for these uh post reviews so uh let's check out about the first one this is a craftably it is uh it's called q koalas by joe parry um it is a 16 inch by 16 inch they go they use inches it's a square 36 colors with uh four ab's it is super cute so i got received this as a gift from a wonderful dear friend Debbie, thank you so much, my dear. Um, you probably, I don't know if I showed you this finished already. I might have because I know as soon as I got it, I did it. Um, and I might have put it in the unboxing at the end. I don't remember at this point. Um, but I absolutely loved it. It, it, it It's just fabulous. Um, it was my, this is my first craftable kit I've ever worked on. It was wonderful. Um, the ABs are really, really pretty. Uh, and the, the koalas are just absolutely adorable. I love the fact that they're two different color koalas. This is a, like a gray and white one, and this is more of a tan and brown one. Uh, I love the eucalyptus leaves and the beautiful blue background. Uh, I do remember the only thing, I, I wouldn't usually change anything on this, but the only thing I did change is, I believe in the koala's cheeks, there was uh, maybe two show two shades of pink or maybe there was I don't remember if there was any AB started there or there might have been an AB and another pink I don't remember it was a few months ago um but I did make the, the little cheeks on them all pink and I used all the ABs up on that that's the only change I made um but it's absolutely wonderful it was super fun working on um yeah it just the, the squares went in nice they look beautiful there's no popping there's no issues i don't have tab issues or anything like that um that's crazy or unexpected it just it turned out really fabulously i'm super happy with this and it means a lot to me number one that it was a gift but number two you know the subject matter i love koalas and um that's my nickname kind of so uh, it's beautiful so thank you so much debbie i I really love it. Oh. Okay, let's go on to the second one. Oh, you know what? I was going to put this on the floor, but that's not very nice. I don't want to do that. This is small enough I could sneak it under here. So, our second one is from Diamond Art Club. It is The People's Princess by Mandy Manzano. Um, I did this for an event for my friend Susie. Right, so nothing moving okay uh she was doing a mandy event her first ever event and it was a busy time so i was lucky enough that i did have a mandy that was manageable for me to do during the event month um this for me was a return to greatness with placing the drills so i will say uh in the last couple kits i i believe what am i right i think i'm right in saying this um, the last few rounds, I've kind of had a hit or miss. Again, like, that's being super picky, too. Um, I, I know Lady of the Lake was an issue for me a little bit. The round seemed a little bit small. I want to say this wasn't. I think this was perfectly fine. Um, I thought there might have been another one, but maybe I'm wrong. No, that's also... Hmm. Anyways, it doesn't matter. D don't listen to me. Uh, dark hits are usually near perfect anyways. So mm, what am I going to... Uh, I'm not going to pick and worry about that at, at this point. I just... I don't remember. 
my memory is that bad. I just don't remember like a month ago, really. <laughs> Anyways, uh, not even a month, <laughs> weeks. Um, so this is, sorry, I'm all over the place today. I was filming before, then I was putting stuff away and my mind's all going, you know, all over the place. <laughs> this is a really bad post review, guys, I'm sorry. I'll try to focus. Chris, take a moment of zen. Let's focus for the people. They deserve it. They don't want to waste their time. Okay. Again, it's around Mandy Manzano, the people's princess, 46 by 66 centimeters. It's lovely. It really, really is. Um, how, like usual, in the camera, it's less pixelated in her face than in person from the 12 inches away. But when you hang it up, it's going to be gorgeous. Uh, you, again, you're not going to be face to face staring her down, you know, uh, because of the size, you know, and all that. But anyways, I th the design has always been really interesting to me. I bought this because of the subject matter, because um, I think she was a wonderful woman um, and everything, humanitarianism and all that kind of stuff. I think it's very interesting how they made her outfit and the look of it. It's not my favorite, but it's quite interesting, you know, with this hard, large swath of just, like, black over here. Um, but it is very pretty, nonetheless. The Nonetheless, black and grays always look beautiful. I love the swirls and the, you know, the backgrounds are very pretty. I love how, you know, the background also is, like, kind of the white, you know, shining <laughs> over her. Uh, her hair turned out beautifully. Um, it's funny when you look at the, the colors, you're like, oh, that's interesting. But on, on it, it looks really nice. Um, this, there was a lot of color blocking in this, uh, which is great. Another thing, it was smaller and color blocking. Uh, so that was great. Uh, of course there are different colors in here. There are blacks, there are these like brown tones in here. You know, that's what's giving these sort of shapes all over the place up and up in here. Um, obviously most of the more, I wouldn't even call it confetti, but most of the smaller color block or smaller regular drilling, I wouldn't call it color blocking or confetti, but the regular drilling is obviously in her hair, uh, and the crown. I only, I don't remember, I think I left the ABs how they were. Um, it's possible I might've just added a couple more where the lines, they had them in the lines over here. Um, but I don't remember, um, but nothing major. The only thing that I actually did change were two things, two m kind of minor things. Uh, so in her earring, I changed this. I have a, um, a square blue gem and I have a rectangle blue gem. Um, instead of using the whatever they provided, I put these gems in here. As well as then surrounding here, there are some white ABs in her earring as well. Again, I don't remember if I did that or was in the kit. And where there were supposed to be some blue um, drills, I put the uh, blue half pearls. Um, and I used those blue half pearls as well in the crown up in here. Um, I think I just did everything else, but where there might have been one or two colors that were supposed to be the blue color, I put the half pearl. Um, now it did come with these other pearls in the kits. That's the, they did, so it did come with a special drill and that's those pearls up there. Um, somebody else did this also for the Mandy event. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, who really changed up the crown and made it super um zhuzhi with a ton of beautiful i think rhinestones or sparklers or something and i was like oh i'm so jealous that looks beautiful it was really stunning what they did to it um i'll just show you that real quick what i did see if you could see the two gems i put in and if you could tell the half pearls i'm not sure if you could see them or not but uh and in her crown those are the half pearls i have in her crown so, again, very pretty. I didn't put anything in her eyes. 
Um, I could have, but I just left them the way they were. I thought the blue was nice enough in her eye. So, here we are, the People's Princess. Very, very pretty. Again, sparkly per usual. And especially with all the dark colors, that makes it extra sparkly, you know. And Mandy Fabulous. So, let's look at the last one. Okay, so this is a Hannah Lynn. So I did this for the hannah -thon, I believe. I want to say, I don't remember. It's, again, memory is so bad. I think somebody had a hannah -thon. My friend probably, and I'm going to feel so guilty that I don't remember who. I want to say Brandy, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Um, so, I and I think I did this for an event. Otherwise, I, don't, I wouldn't have done this so quickly because I just unboxed this. Uh, unbox this not too long ago where I put, posted it not too long ago. Anyways, this is, uh, excuse me one second. It is a Hannah Lynn. It is a 42 by 60 uh, centimeter round. It's called the Tea Rose Fairy. And again, really, really pretty. Um, how can you not love those gorgeous green eyes? Um, again, the, the beautiful swirls throughout her hair, the roses, the teacup up here. Um, now, again, this I did a while, a while ago, meaning a month or two, can't remember. Meaning, don't remember if I changed anything. I want to say I did change the, what, the ABs. I want to say I put ABs in her eyes. I don't think they came that way. And I want to say I did that. And uh, that's probably the only thing I changed on here. If somebody has this or have done this, they might correct me, saying they were in there already. But I, uh, th I have the ABs in her eyes. I think they, I really wanted her. Those eyes really needed to just pop because that green um, looks really beautiful. Again, and we can see the super sparkliness of it. Uh, again, the darker, some of the darker colors helps. Um, with the sparkliness, <laughs> um, again, I might have even added a few extra in the flowers, possibly, don't remember. <laughs> um, again, this was, uh, I don't remember having an issue working on this. Uh, I thought it was, you know, again, a good time. It's time art club, what can you say? Um, so before I leave you, I wanted to say this about Hannah Lynn's. It's kind of a revelation that I've had kind of when I was doing it, especially when it was done and seeing other handlings because I have quite a few and seeing other people doing theirs and, you know, it going on. And I find it very interesting. I was wondering what, there's something about Hanlon's artwork. What is it? What is it? You know, because now, you know, not to go over it again, I've kind of had this back and forth with the big head, big eye girls. Some of them I like, some of them I don't. It all depends on the picture, you know, that kind of stuff. But that's not what it's about. It's just a Hannah Lynn specific characters. And then I realized what it was. Do you know what my realization was? Now you all can say you agree with me or not. Maybe you thought this before, I don't know. I don't know how she feel about this. I don't know Hannah Lynn from anybody, so I don't know. I think what's cool about her characters, and what I think they all are, or at least most of them, but I'm going to say probably all of them, if you look at them, I think they're drag queens. I'm sorry, I just really do. They are just too extra. Listen, if you look at her characters, what do they look like? They all have gigantic eyes with lots of makeup looking kind of thing. You know, the big eyes, with the usually they have, you know, makeup on or you, certainly the eyes make it pop and the lips make it pop. They're all, the hair is so extra and big and flowy. You know, they're always in these beautiful outfits or kind of, I think, I, hello, there's leopard here. It looks like to me leopard here, these gigantic roses, the big hair swirly hair come on now guys Hannah Lynn's ladies are drag queens and being that it is is it June 1st I think I'm recording on June 1st 
um, that's very appropriate for this month, uh, uh, which is Pride Month. And I had this revelation when I was, as soon as I finished doing her, I was looking at it and I'm like, this is a drag queen. So just an observation. I don't know if you all agree with me. I think it, I think it's funny. It is what it is. And uh, that's how I see it. Art is subjective. We all see art differently. So <laughs> that's how I see her ladies uh, as queens. <laughs> so with that said, I showed you three great canvases today. The T. Rose Fairy. Of course, Diana, the People's Princess. Come on, Di. Come out. Make yourself seen. And of course, the beautiful little koalas. Thank you so much for watching, people. People, I really appreciate it. Um, leave comments, questions, kind of concerns, anything below. Talk to me. Tell me about it. I'm so behind in comments. Hopefully, by the time you see this, I have all caught up. But yet again, I put myself like in a, you know, six, eight week hole responding, and I'm gonna have to take a couple days responding. So, um, anyways, I I, I want to hear all your thoughts and. Um, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the three finishes. Definitely recommend all three. Definitely, obviously, recommend the Craftively and Diamond Art Club. And until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.